Ken, a Valley Barber shop out thousands of dollars after thieves ransacked the place, and it's not the first time they've been hit. Tonight, our community stepping up to help. ABC 15's Cameron Pollan reporting for us tonight near 16th Street in Southern. They've got bars on their windows, but that didn't stop thieves from kicking in the back door, and it's not the first time it's happened. You're saying it hurts, but you're laughing. Inside Cuddy's Barbershop off Southern, the feeling of family cuts through the air. A lot of our people we've had, they followed us, so we've not just had them, you know, little kids, high school. You know, now they got their own kids. They're coming back. You know, it's like that's the greatest part of it, I see. The generations. But on Sunday, the bustling barbershop was put at a standstill. You know, it hurts because, you know, somebody don't want nothing but a couple dollars out of what you tried to make a business. Owner Jason Halloway says overnight thieves kicked in his back door, ripping TVs off walls, rummaging through workstations the fourth time they've been hit. When I saw it, I just. I broke down. It was tough. For co-owner Avery and Turner, it was the more than $6,000 in clippers and other equipment that left the shop closed and them wondering what to do next. They do a lot of good for the community, giving back backpack drives, you know, free haircuts for the children going back to school. So when their time of need came, so did that same community. Phone was ringing off the hood. We kept having to put it on the charger because it kept going dead. Donations have since poured in a local business owner installing a new security door. PCI security. He came through, he donated a, a, a security system. Tonight, they're now left in awe and inspired by the show of kindness. I just appreciate everybody that even knocked on the door, that just wanted to ask that we need help cleaning up. Like, those are the people that count the most. While they've received a number of donations, they haven't hit their mark yet. If you'd like to help, we put a link along with the story on ABC15.com. I'm Cameron Polam, ABC15 Arizona. Okay.